Hey fellow duelists, it's Raging Rate Raptor here, coming at you today with my very first countdown video, listing my top 5 decks that I want to play during Link format, at least at the start of the Code of the Duelist era. These decks were selected because I think their potential has been increased because of the new mechanic, or because it was designed for Link summoning in the first place, or because it just doesn't need an extra deck in order to function. But I do want to immediately establish that I do not think that all of these decks will be meta-defining, or even objectively good during the Code of the Duelist format. These are the decks that I personally want to play. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with number 5 is Deskbots. In my Can Be Better video where I discussed how this archetype could have been made better, I said that one of the weaknesses that this deck had was that having a field full of monsters with different levels could prevent you from furthering your game state. However, this will not be as much of an issue anymore, now that we have Link monsters coming out soon. Since Link monsters are not fussy about what levels the monsters have when you summon them, which is made better by the fact that they have access to one of the best Link 2 monsters, Mrs. Radiant, which only Earth Attribute decks can access. Added in with the fact that this deck's consistency has gone up because of the release of Ancient Gear Catapult and Wyvern in the new Machine Reactor Structure deck, which makes it easier to summon Gear Giant X, which then allows you to search any of your lower level deskbot monsters, mainly 3 and 4. When you consider that the deck already had access to some of the best extra deck monsters like Cyber Dragon Infinity and my beloved Cyframe Lord Omega, as monsters whose effects are not limited to once per turn, and the massive OTK potential that it always had, then I think this deck will be one of the decks from the Arc V era that is least affected by the new Master Rules, which lands this deck at number 5. Moving on to another deck that does not need the extra deck in order to function, we have Yosenjus. Released back in 2015 with the release of the Secret Forces, it was seen as one of the better anti-meta decks available at the time, and has only gotten better with the release of new cards. The reason why this deck works incredibly well as an anti-meta deck is because the only mechanic that this deck really needs is normal summoning themselves from the hand, to which they use their effects in order to get over your opponent's monsters and then attack into your opponent and then return themselves back into your hand. Rinse and repeat. This means that you can easily run almost every floodgate in the game, like Dimensional Fissure, Necro Valley, Lose One Turn, and Vanity. Oh, wait, they banned that card, didn't they? Damn. But never mind, because the floodgate that this deck still has access to will not hurt this deck in any way, as they do not need to special summon or use their graveyard. Coupled in with the fact that you can add cards such as Card of Demise, and Fire Formation Tanky for extra consistency, the Kaiju engines to get rid of problematic monsters and then put them back in your hand with the effect of Kama 1, along with specific rank 4 monsters like Lightning Shidori and Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Tiger King, and the entire generic rank 4 pool and Storming Mirror Force to surprise your opponent. Then you have an anti-meta deck that I'm very much looking forward to playing during the Link era. Speaking of the Link era, we actually have a Link deck in the form of the Trickster Archetype. I discovered an interest for this deck in a similar way to how I discovered the Ritual Beast Archetype, which was that I wanted to learn what the cards did and how they interacted with each other, because I kept on making misplays while playing against them, from not knowing what the cards did. But when I did actually play them, I ended up really enjoying the playstyle of it. As of the time of me writing this video script, the deck currently has a field spell that is a searcher for every monster within the archetype, a monster that can search every card within the archetype, a monster that can special summon itself from the hand when it is searched, a link monster, and a trap card. The deck currently seems to be designed around inflicting direct battle damage and effect damage with the effects of the three main deck monsters as Canada and look. Oh my god. Loc Locrioso? Locriasa? Anyway, those cards inflict damage every time your opponent adds a card from their deck or activates a spell and trap card, 
while Lilybell can attack directly and then use its effect to add any trickster monster from your graveyard back into your hand. And the trap card allows you to banish your opponent's entire hand and if that trap card is in your graveyard you can banish it in order to special summon one of your trickster monsters from the graveyard. All of this is really enticing for me personally as I do like to make my opponents angry and having to constantly remind my opponent to add damage to their life points whenever they need to add cards from their hand or use spell and trap cards and having the potential to banish an extremely good hand will definitely help me achieve that. Coupled in with the fact that this deck also has access to Fairy Cheer Girl for extra draw power and Archlord Christia as a floodgate, then I think you have a very interesting deck that has a lot of potential moving forward. Whether or not it will be as meta-defining as Performer Pals or as lackluster as Melodious is still up in the air, but it still lands a spot on my list at number 3. Coming in at number 2 is probably the most competitive archetype on this list, and that is Stargrails. Although I'm not as knowledgeable about this deck as other decks I've mentioned, I really want to try and learn as many aspects of this deck as I possibly can, as it looks like a fun Link Span deck that looks relatively consistent and can easily summon monsters like Firewall Dragon and pull off the extra Link by having one of your monsters in your opponent's extra monster zone. In regards to what I do know, I am aware that they have a field spell that can special summon a Stargrail monster from the graveyard, a Link 1 monster that gives you an additional normal summon, a hand trap that can protect your monsters in a Link state, and their own version of Pot of Avarice, and a level 5 monster that can special summon two Stargrail monsters from the deck. How good this actually is, is completely unbeknownst to me, but it does want me to get a grip with this deck and that's why I've placed it at number 2. And finally, at number 1, we have Mecha Phantom Beasts. This is a deck that I've only seen one of my friends play, and back then I wasn't particularly interested because it didn't look particularly good at the time. However, with the advent of Link Monsters, I think this deck could have some new lines shined upon it, mainly because of the simple fact that most generic Link Monsters can use tokens as material for link summoning, which is exactly what this archetype revolves around. Also the fact that this deck can technically access every generic synchro and Xyz monster because of the fact that the main deck monsters can change their levels based on how many tokens are on the field, which does give you a lot of flexibility in regards to what other extra deck monsters you may want to run. My only concern however is that this deck can be very slow to get going, which might not be a problem if we end up in a slower format, but if the majority of Link decks are as fast, if not faster than the previously mentioned Stargrails, then I doubt that the deck will be able to keep up, since it does take a while for them to get set up. However, as it stands, I think the ability for this deck to summon so many tokens will be a solid asset for this deck during the Link Summoning Era, which is why I have placed this at number 1. Well that is my list of the top 5 decks I want to play during the Link format. If you have your own set of decks you want to try out during the Link format, let me know in the comment section below, or alternatively you could also make your own countdown video about this very topic. If you did enjoy the video, why not give it a like or share it with your friends? It would be greatly appreciated and would help the growth of the channel as a whole. I've been Raging Raid Raptor and I'll see you all again next time.